Good morning to everyone. Myself, N. Kalpana. I am from Sri G.K. Jain Higher Secondary School, Royapuram. For more educational video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Today, for the 11th standard, I am going to explain the topic is basic concept of chemistry and chemical calculation. Uh, molecular formula. In last class video, we saw about the empirical formula. How can you derive the empirical formula? With the help of the empirical formula, we can derive the molecular formula. Actually, molecular formula is the actual formula. When you go ahead with the empirical formula, it's just like an outline of the formula only. It is like a skeleton only. But the molecular formula only being the actual formula of a compound. Okay. So, how can you find the molecular formula? When you find the molecular formula with the empirical formula of n number 10 where n equal to you how can you find the n number n equal to molar mass of a compound by the empirical formula that is why i'm telling so if you want to find the molecular formula the step wise you have to go in. from the empirical formula only we can find the molecular formula i'll give the example a two organic compounds one which is present in a vinegar whose mole molecular masses have been given it is 60 and next other compound will be lactic acid whose molecular mass is 90. And they have been given the percentage. The element in the compound they have been given in the percentage like carbon 40%, hydrogen 6.6% and the oxygen 53.4%. Let me do how can we find the molecular formula. First one element. The name of the element present in the compound they have been given carbon, hydrogen as well as the oxygen. So you have to tabulate the carbon, hydrogen as well as the oxygen. Then the percentage is also be given in the question. So you have to write the percentage. Then the atomic mass of the mass of the element that means mass of the elements means mass of a carbon mass of the relative to the compound so let's see the mass of the carbon is 12 mass of the hydrogen is 1 mass of the oxygen is 16 okay then number of molecules number of mole relative number of molecules how can you find the relative number of molecule the percentage divided by the molecule mass the percentage divided by the mass will be the relative number of molecules. So, 40 divided by 12 equal to 3.3. Then 6.6 .6 divided by 1, 6.3. Then 53.4 53 divided by 16. So, whatever they given in the formula, you have to divide it by the mass of the certain compounds. Okay, can you have you all clear about that? So, when you go ahead with the carbon, the percentage have been already given in the question. It is 40 percentage. What is the mass of the carbon? 12. So, 40 divided by 12. The same will be done it for the hydrogen as well as the oxygen. Ne next one. <coughs> When you go ahead with the, how can you write the simplest ratio? Simplest ratio means when you compare these values, which one will be the simplest, smallest that we have to take it. So when you compare 3.3 will be the smallest. So you have to divide at the same. So first one 3.3 divided by 3.3 you will be getting 1. 6.3 divided by 3.3 you will be getting 2. 3.3 divided by 3.3 you will be getting 1. So, what is the ratio finally you are getting 1 to 1. So, carbon 1, hydrogen 2 as well as the oxygen 1. Oxygen 1. So, what is the formula based on the simplest ratio? How can you write CH2O? Okay, this is the base. This is we have finding the compound for the basic all the compounds. Okay, let me go ahead with the vinegar as well as the lactic acid. This is the base. CH2O will be the base one. First, uh, then we have go individually for the vinegar as well as the lactic acid. First, we go ahead with the vinegar. So, CH2O will be given. First, you have to find the molecular mass of CH2O. Okay, the ma uh, mass of carbon is 12 plus how many hydrogen have been present? 2. So, 2 into 1 plus mass of oxygen is 16. So, you, when you add these 12 plus 2 plus 16, you will be getting 30. This is the molecular mass of CH2O. But for the vinegar, the molar mass have been given 60. So, just for finding the value of N, molar mass divided by empirical formula. The empirical formula is CH2O. Then, the molar mass that they have been given individually. For the vinegar it should be 60. For the lactic acid it should be 90. So 30 we have find it for the CH2O. The whole things okay. 30 divided by 60 that is for vinegar. You will be getting 2. 
so where n equal to when you substituted here how what is the empirical formula we have found it ch2o here what is the number of n so 2 so you have to multiply with the 2 so you get c2h4o2 so c2h4o2 which, which is almost is a acetic acid so what is the acid which is present in the vinegar it is acetic acid we found it the same as usual for the lactic acid also how can you find the n so already they have given the empirical formula value is 30. So and the molar mass for lactic acid is 90. 90 divided by 30 or 30 divided by 90 you will be getting a 3. So, so CH2O 3 where in place of N you can be substituted as 3. So C3H6O3 so that is the lactic acid. So in the uh, lactic acid. Uh, it has been present. So, in the milk, the lactic acid has been present. In the vinegar, the acetic acid have been present. So, this is the formula. So, they, there is a stepwise manner. First, you have to find the empirical formula. Empirical formula, just the outlook for that. With the empirical formula, you can be found out the N value. Then, if you have substituted, you will be getting as a uh, molecular formula. And the next problem is, experimental analysis of compound contain X. So, in this problem, they are not given as carbon, hydrogen. They are not particularly given the elements, okay. Instead of that, they have just given a X, Y and Z, okay. So, X which is 32 percentage, Y which is 24 percentage and Z will be 44 percentage. The relative number of atom will be, the relative, it is also be given as 2 comma 1 comma 0 0.5. That means for X it should be 2, for a Y it should be 1 and Z it should be 0 0.5. Then the molecular mass of the compound also be given it should be 400 gram. So the first thing they are not instead of giving the element they have been given just as a x, y and z. They will be given the relative number of atoms also as well as they have given the molecular mass of the compound. Okay. Uh, what are the things we have to find it? First one to find the atomic mass of an element. So atomic mass of an individual x, y, z you have to find it. Second one empirical formula. Third one molecular formula. First, so the same wise whatever do it in the last problem, we have do it the same wise. First you have to given the heading element. What is the what are all the elements they have given? X, Y and Z. So X, Y, Z. Then the percentage, the 2, the 32 percentage, 24 and 44 percentage. And atomic mass of the element, we have to find it. But the relative number of atoms, that is, they have been given 210.5. So up to this, you have to fill. Let's go ahead with the atomic mass. See, how can you find the relative, uh, these one. So usually what we have to do, 32, that means percentage divided by atomic mass, we have to find the relative atomic number of atom. But in this case, they have been given the relative number of atom, we have to find the atomic mass. See, this is the way, percentage divided by atomic mass equal to relative atomic mass. But here what happened, they have been given the relative atomic mass, we have to, so we have to substitute it. For example, here it should be 32, so 32 divided by 2. It should be 16. So for this case, it should be 16. Then 24 divided by 1, it should be 24. Then 44 divided by 0 0.5, it should be 88. Okay, so if you have uh, divided by 32 divided by 16, you will be getting 2. So you have to find it. And next one, next is simplest ratio. The simplest ratio, how can you find it? The same way, divide um, multiply into 2. Okay, the whole number, no. That is why you have multiply with the 2. So, 2 into 2, 4. 1 into 2, 0 0.5 into 2, it should be 1. So, you have to find the simplest ratio. From the simplest ratio, you will be easily write the empirical formula. So, x equal to 4, y to rise, as well as z1. Okay, up to this, we have to find. First, we have to find the atomic mass of element. So, we, we have to find the atomic mass of element. By the way, the percentage divided by relative number of atoms. Already, the relative number of atoms have given in the question. So, you have to find the first 
first question. So, uh, uh, almost you are getting as a simplest ratio. From the simplest ratio, you will be find the empirical formula. And la last one, from the empirical formula, you have to find the molecular formula. How can you find the empirical formula? First, you have to note it down. Uh, empirical formula, so it should be 4 times where x equal to 16. We have to substitute the atomic mass. So, where x equal to value of atomic mass of 16 is x is 16. So, 16 into 4, x equal to 4, no. So, 16 into 4 plus 24 into 2 plus 88 into 1, you will be getting 200. Then, what is the value of n? Molecular mass by empirical formula. Molecular mass of the compound already given, it should be 400. So, 400 divided by 200, you will be getting 2. What is the empirical formula? x4, y2, z1. What is the value of n we have then? It should be 2. So, if you have substituted, you will be get x8, y4 and z2. So, in this videos, we saw about how can we calculate it. The uh, molecular formula from because it has been get it from the empirical formula with the value of n. Thank you. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.